So I spent over $1,000 of my own money testing out MagSafe 3-in-1 chargers. I returned some, I kept some, I, you know, I got some that I still wanna test, could be honorable mention, but out of all of those, here are gonna be the top four that I can recommend that you go out there and buy if you want that all-in-one solution for your AirPods, your iPhone, and your Apple Watch. <laughs> now, before we get started, I gotta give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, and that's gonna be Kadabe, because we know at the centerpiece of all MagSafe accessories comes a great case with strong magnets. Now, if you're looking for one of the cases that has the strongest magnets out there for your iPhone 14 Pro Max, look no further than the sheath. Real quick, this is gonna give you very nice tactile buttons. You get a nice grippy texture that goes all the way around the phone. You're gonna get lip protection. You're gonna get camera protection. And you're gonna get a very snug fit. This case fits like an absolute glove. Comes in a very affordable price point and has many different colors so you can match it up to your iPhone. So easily one of the best cases for the 14 Pro and Pro Max. Links down below, go get yourself one. You will not be disappointed. Now let's go ahead and kick this list off and let's start off with the very first one right here. And we gotta go ahead and talk about the Magback Multi-Charger. Now this right here is probably one of the most compact ones on this list. A lot of them are a little bit more bulky. They have a lot going on, but I love this because it's so minimal and you never would think Looking at this, this thing charges three chargers, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this is gonna be made out of aluminum, so you're gonna get very lightweight, not heavy at all. Out of all of the chargers that I'm talking about today, this is the only one that charges via Type-C. Now, no, you can't unplug it from here, but at the end of this cable, it's plugged in under my desk, it is gonna be Type-C with its own magback charging brick. So that's that's pretty good to see that if you travel, which I think you'll be able to use and travel with this thing, you can take this on the road with you and you'll be good with traveling. You will have to take a bunch of space in your bag. So I think that's a good look. Now, looking on the bottom down here, you're gonna get three little dots. These are gonna be LED notifications letting you know which device is charging. And I think they're green, red, and blue, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and start off with it. Let's go ahead and plug them in. And this right here, by the way, is 130 bucks. All right, let's go ahead and get it out the way. 130 bucks for this right here, but we know Black Friday is up, it's coming up. So if you wanna pick one up, I'm pretty sure there's gonna, be, it's gonna be some Black Friday deals where you can go out there and get yourself one. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. And on the back right here, you're gonna get a very like sticky type material. You'll be able to reuse this, but this really helps a lot when it's on a desk and it's not gonna move around unless you really knock it on the desk. You can put your stuff up here and you'll be good to go. So. First things first, you're gonna get your AirPods wireless pad back here. This isn't MagSafe, this is just literally a wireless pad. Would like to see it MagSafe in the future, Mag, back if you're watching, but for right now, it does a good job. So let's go ahead and put that one up here and I'm gonna stop running my trap so you can hear the actual sound when the case goes up here. All right, boom. If you heard it, you should have heard that sound right there. That's gonna let you know that your AirPods are charging. And as you can see down here, we have a green LED light letting you know, first, your AirPods are charging, so that's good to go. And make sure you get it up on that pad pretty good. I have a big old case on my AirPods, so make sure you get it up there and it has a good surface, mating surface, to that charger, and I think you'll be good to go. Next up, let's go ahead and pop the Apple Watch down. Now, I have the Apple Watch Ultra. We're just finding out that it is compatible with the Apple Watch Ultra if that's what you want to do. Now, when I put that up there, the AirPods stopped charging for some reason. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but let me pop it back up here and you're good to go. So you're going to have that green light for your AirPods. It may be the case interfering with it. If it does, I might have to take it out of the case and continue to test like that. But next thing up, let's go ahead and grab our iPhone and let's pop the iPhone up here, all right? iPhone starts charging, and if you can see right here, maybe this camera right here, pick it up, you have a, and this just stopped charging. No, it's still charging, so maybe the lights don't stay on. They let you know temporarily that it's charging, but they do go off, because I can see that my AirPods are charging right there, and let me go ahead and swipe up and go to my batteries, and my Apple Watch. So as you can see right here, everything is charging. So I thought the light stayed on. I've been, I've used these, but I guess I never realized that the lights go on and they go off. So that is what it is. I wish they would stay on so you know that they're charging because you may realize, think that, oh, the lights are not on, they're not charging. So Magback, and as we're sitting here, the light for the phone just turned off as well. So I would like to see the lights just remain on so you know that everything is charging. But if you're looking at my battery carousel right here, I'm not sure if you can see it in that camera, but everything is showing being charged. And that's what you get in a very compact right here, all-in-one charging solution. Now make sure you utilize that 
sticky on the bottom of it because that's really going to allow this to stay in place to where nothing is being moved around. But I really like this right here. Compact, charges everything up. Magback has this rated up to 20 watts. Now, I'm not sure how that 20 watts is distributed once all your devices up here, but it is what it is. So this is going to be it, man. This is going to be the Magback multi-charger. AirPods down here in the cut your Apple Watch and your iPhone, 130 bucks. I really like this. This is a very compact that you can use in the house or if you're traveling. Next one up, you've seen me do a standalone video if you've been paying attention to the channel. This is gonna be the Belkin Boost Charge Pro. Now this one right here is the one that I'm currently using on my desk in my bedroom. So I'm actively using this one right here and I absolutely love it. So this one right here, you're gonna get your three spots. You're gonna get your MagSafe for your phone. You're gonna get your area, which is gonna be a charger pad. Would like to see this MagSafe as well for your AirPods and you have your area for your Apple Watch charger. Now, one thing that I didn't realize about this area for the Apple Watch charger, you have adjustments down here and you can adjust it to fit any Apple Watch that you have and it's gonna raise or lower this base. Now, it does not have a set for the Apple Watch Ultra, but I just pulled it over here on the very highest setting and it's gonna raise it off that lip so you're just good to go when you're talking about charging the Apple Watch Ultra. Now, remember when I told you all of these had their own proprietary charging cable? That's what it has when it comes to the Belkin. This has its own charger, all right? This is another one that we have over here because there's another Belkin on this list. This is what it looks like when we're talking about having its own charger. So, you know, you may can take this when you're talking about traveling, but it is gonna be a little bit bulky, just know that. So the way you plug it in is this, it kinda has its own little channel right here. So you're basically gonna, is it over here or over there? Okay, it's on the other side. <laughs> you're gonna plug it in and then you're gonna flip it down right here, just like that so it actually can remain flat when it's on your desk. Now back here, this is gonna be all rubber. It's gonna allow you to not be able to move that easy when you are talking about being on your desk. Now this right here is gonna be rated up to 15 watts of charging and it's gonna fast charge your Apple Watch. So you're definitely good to go. So let's go ahead and give it, let's go ahead and give it the old rundown. So first thing we're throwing up there is going to be your iPhone, as you can see that is charging. Next thing right here is gonna be your AirPods. Your AirPods, boom, that's gonna be charging. And last but not least, let's go ahead and throw our Apple Watch Ultra up there and your Apple Watch Ultra is gonna be charging. So this is how my nightstand is laid out. I absolutely love this because there's nothing like having the all-in-one to charge your stuff. And this one is flat. It's very cool. I love the mag back, but you don't have to kind of angle around sides. That's cool, compact. You can travel with it. But this right here just makes it very easy at the end of the night. Boom, boom, boom. Throw everything up there and you are good to go. Now you do get a little LED notification right here for your AirPods because this is going to be a pad. And before you really didn't know if your AirPods were charging because the light will come on. And But with the AirPod Gen 2s that I have right here, it's going to give you that chime notification to let you know that you are charging and that's what we are working with. Now, one thing that I do wanna say about the Apple Watch charger portion, you can pop it up. So if you have a band where you can't, uh, you know, pop it out and lay it flat like that, you can pop it up and it can be just like that. And as you can see, it starts charging once again over here in the corner. So you can pop it up and use it like this right here. So this is gonna be the Belkin Boost Charge Pro charging pad. This bad boy right here is gonna run you 150 bucks, all right? So yeah, you got to pay for it, but it's nothing like having a three-in-one and it just remains cool. Doesn't heat your devices up. I like this one and this is right now is my daily three-in-one charger by my bedside. Now, sticking right along with Belkin, I know a lot of you were talking about this doing the base Boost Charge Pro video that I've done. This is gonna be the Boost Charge stand, all right? And this right here is very popular. A lot of people have this one. These are sold at the Apple stores. I like this one as well. So this one right here is gonna have your same charger just like the previous one. You're gonna get that same channel that you can kind of plug it up. This whole base is gonna be rubber. Same thing, fast charger Apple Watch, rated up to 15 watts of charging. And it has your three areas, all right? You're gonna get the area for your MagSafe. When it comes to that, you're gonna get the area for your actual Apple Watch and you're gonna get the area for your AirPods down here. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So let's go ahead and bring the other one over here, take it off, like I said, the exact same charger. So you can basically take that off, go down here, and which area is the plug at? This one right here, boom, fold it down, just like the previous one, and you're all plugged up. You get a little LED light right there for your AirPods, so let's go ahead and pop them all on again. So there it is. AirPods charging, LED light blinks shows up there that's so that you are charging. Here is gonna be the Apple Watch. Now the Apple Watch has a weird area because 
for the Ultra, it kind of swings a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the same deal with the regular Apple Watch. I'll have to grab my girls and put a B-roll up there and show you whether it swings or whether it doesn't. You're probably looking at that right now, but it swings when it comes to the Apple Watch Ultra. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a weight issue, but it can sit up there, you know, still, but it'll have an easy swing. It can kind of go off topic. I don't know if that bothers you, but you know, you can set it up there kind of even to where it doesn't swing. But like I said, I'll test the regular Apple Watch to see if that pops up there without any swing to it, all right? And you're gonna have your watch, you're gonna have your phone and you're gonna pop your phone up there and it's gonna be charging as well. So I like this because you can, if you wanna watch content, and you can kind of flip it over sideways. And once again, the Apple Watch Ultra really isn't helping this right now. I think she's a little bit too big for this type of stand. But you can watch content and charge it just fine if you want to do it like this. You can pop it up, watch your content. And I think that's dope. And that's that's the good thing about this charge. Now, the MagBack also, you can pop a phone vertical on that as well and charge it just fine. I forgot to show it in the video. That works fine as well. And you can do the same thing with this Boost Charge stand when it comes to Belkin. So very good job when it comes to that. Now, just for, just for giggles, say you got a MagSafe AirPod Pro Gen 2s with a MagSafe case. You can actually put it on the MagSafe stand right here when it comes to the phone. Look at that, I put the AirPods on where you can mount the phone at just for giggles, you know what I mean? I thought I may could do it with the Apple Watch area, but I can't do it with the Apple Watch area, but it works just fine when you're talking about popping it on the phone stand on this one. So here it is, this is gonna be the Belkin Boost Charge Pro, but this is gonna be the stand version. And this right here is gonna run you 134 bucks, 134.99 over on Amazon, all right? So once again, if you're looking for any of these, could be some Black Friday deals coming up, you can always go back and check back. Now. Last one, but this is probably my favorite one up here, and we're gonna talk about the ESR 3-in-1 Halo Block MagSafe Charger with Cryo Boost. All that, yes, all of that. Now, let's go ahead and break it down a little bit before you, because you may not know all the terminology. Now, Halo Lock is what ESR calls their MagSafe system. Cryo Boost is gonna have the ability to keep your phone cool. So the one thing about this charger that's different than the other ones, this one has fans built in. So when you plug it up, now, once again, this one uh, does have its own proprietary charger, all right? So it's gonna have its own charger. When I say proprietary, I'm talking about not type C and different things like that. I know a lot of people like to get all technical, but that's what we're talking about. So you're basically gonna plug it up in the back here. And then when you plug it up, you're gonna see this area light up blue. You're basically going to get a fan. It's going to blow cool air. Once you plug in your phone, it's going to light up blue and it's going to blow that cool air. So the one thing, another thing that I really love about it, normally I don't like three-in-one cases that has the Apple Watch charger where you have to use your old existing charger. I usually do not like that, but this one right here, I can give it a pass because the reason why is because you use your Apple Watch charger that you come with, but they have a channel to where you can channel it down in here and you can actually, and let me pop the cover off to show you, all right? And you're gonna have a channel system that's gonna wire and run that wire, run that wire, and plug it up via Type-C in the actual base. So you don't gotta worry about no messy cables or messy wires coming from your Apple Watch. I absolutely love that about the ESR, and that's why this is one of my favorite. And we gotta talk about price point. This thing is 62 bucks, way cheaper than the competition that's out here. Literally just about half the price as all of the other ones. And it has a few more features that I think gets the job done. So let's go ahead and start off with, you're gonna have your little pad right here for your AirPods. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So it's gonna pop up there and you're gonna be able to feel that magnet pull. As soon as you pop it down, it's gonna pull up there. You're gonna get a little LED notification right there letting you know that you are charging. Now, go ahead and bring your phone over here. Go ahead and pop your phone on, but when you pop the phone on, you'll get a little audible sound, which is very silent, not that loud, but you'll be able to feel that cool air that's coming off the side of it right here. So that feels really good in my opinion, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in this camera right here. you get a little blue. It, the, the ring is blue, so I'll take it off. You can see that blue ring, and you pop it back up there, and it's gonna be charging just fine right there. So that's gonna be clutch when it comes to your phone, and pop your watch up there, your watch is gonna be charging right here with the Apple Watch. This right here is the neatest, the cheapest, but the best feature rich three in one charger that's on this list. I absolutely love this thing right here. My girlfriend actually uses this on her side of the bed. So I had to steal this for this video, but I make sure I put it back because she loves this thing. So that's gonna be it in a whole. Now, if you don't wanna hear that cryo boost, 
you can press a button right here and that's going to be able to turn it off to where you don't have to hear those fans. If you're not worried about your phone getting hot or different things like that, you can turn it off because you can hear it when you're sleeping. That's just something to think about. But you press it, turn it on, and you're basically good to go and everything is charged. And so this is going to be the ESR Cryo Boost with Halo Lock 3-in-1 MagSafe Charger. Easily my favorite on this list. So that's going to be it, man. We're going to have the ESR 3-in-1 Let's go ahead and bring over the Belkin right here. This is gonna be the Belkin. This is gonna be the other Belkin when we're talking about the pad. And this is going to be the Magback Multi-Charger, all right? Let me just put it down. So all the links to these will be down below. Go check it out. Three of these you can get on Amazon, the Magback. I think you have to go to their website directly. But like I said, pay attention, Black Friday, you might get some deals. Go out there and get yourself a cool three-in-one charger, all right? Let me know in the comment section what three-in-one you got. Let me get into it. Let me know what you got going on. If you're into MagSafe accessories, I'll make sure to pop this video above so you can check out some of my favorite MagSafe accessories. Y'all be safe. Hit that sub button. Hit the like button. All the above. Y'all be easy. Catch you on the next one. Later.